Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's video is going to be my gold jewelry collection. Pretty much the majority of it, at least my favorite pieces, probably pieces that you have already seen me wearing loads over the years and like recently as well. I have quite a lot to get through and the last time I did one of these videos was I think like over a year and a half ago so it has been a while. My collection has definitely updated. There are definitely so many newer pieces here. Some pieces I don't really wear as much as I did when I filmed that video but there is a lot I want to go through. I've popped my jewelry stand here. I got this via Prezi box. I've had this for about a year and it's how I keep my jewelry, mostly like my necklaces along here and at the top I keep a couple of bracelets and some hoop earrings as well because you know I love my hoop earrings. If you've watched my video then you'll know I am a huge fan of hoop earrings. I wear them all the time. I have a couple of pieces on which of course I will mention and I'll just go through everything, show you close-ups of all the pieces as well. And so I hope you'll enjoy this video. It was a requested one so I really hope you like it and let's get started because I have a feeling it's going to be a long one. Starting off with what I'm wearing. I am actually going to do this in categories though. I'm going to start with earrings I think. Earrings are probably like my favourite pieces in terms of the versatility of them and being able to like really just like transform an outfit with an accessory. So starting off of course with the earrings that I am wearing. So these are just, I'll take one off actually. These are like the classic hoop earrings. These became very, very popular this summer and I was over the moon. I have two pairs of these actually. So these ones are Primark for earrings. Primark is one of my go-to places. They're so affordable. They do gold jewelry really nicely. It's just affordable and really nice. And then I have a more like classic pair. Now these come from, I believe it's a five pack that Primark does. So they just do loads of different sizes of hoop earrings. I believe this is like the smallest size they do and then I think this is like a mid size that they do. They're really great if you are just starting to get into wearing hoop earrings and you're not quite sure what suits you or it's like a hoop earring for every occasion in my opinion. You've got the small hoop for when you're feeling like a bit more sophisticated and then the larger one for when you're like ready to take on the world. Also from Primark I have these slightly like a medium sized hoop still but they're more of like a Oh, I don't really know if I'd say ribbed, but they've almost got like a ribbed detailing, which I like. I think it makes them look a little bit different. These are, I believe these are meant to be a rose gold, so they are like slightly darker. They've got more of like a brown tinge to them as opposed to a pink one, which personally I like when it comes to rose gold. I don't like the rose gold that looks a bit too pink. I like it more when it looks more bronzy colored. So these are also really great. And I think these are the most recent addition for me from Primark. These almost look like bamboo sticks maybe, but again, it's a very like small hoop earring. I wear these quite a lot. They're just tiny hoops. I love my hoops, what can I tell you? So I really like it when I find pieces that look a little less traditional, I guess, and this sort of bamboo style is really, really lovely. And I keep thinking I'm done with the Primark hoops, but I'm not. These are another pair that I got recently as well. Slightly larger, but still I would class this as a small hoop. I believe £1.50 as well. And these are basically twisted, so they've got that sort of twisted design feature to them. So they just look a little more interesting. Right, and now moving on to a pair from New Look. I love of these. These I think I got before the summer and I don't think they're available anymore but I love wearing them because again they are a classic hoop. They're the classic hoop design but they've got gorgeous like flower details on them which was so pretty. It's just a really pretty detail. It's still quite a chunky hoop which I like. Still that gold jewellery which I like but it's got that additional detail of the florals which I think is so pretty. And then from a brand called Matthew Calvin again I have more of like an unusual hoop earring design so they are called the teardrop and I think you can tell like it does come into like a raindrop teardrop just a droplet of water basically a nice change to a classic hoop earring you've still got the classic hoop feel but with just a little added different and then these are pretty extra but 
oh my gosh I adore them so they're from a brand called Georgina Scott London I believe these are available on a brand or like a website called hoop station I'm not too too familiar with the brand this is like the first piece I've ever had from them but oh my gosh I love it so it's a really like chunky like massive 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 hoop earring I love these for when I want to make a statement like maybe if I'm wearing sort of a roll neck or something and I don't really want to be layering up too much jewelry I'll pop on these because they're so chunky so I think they make such a cool statement but still very cool for an evening out if you want to make a statement but I also wear these day to day I just really like these I think they're very cool and next up the tiniest hoop earrings I own these are from Estella Bartlett and they are I mean they are just tiny I'm not going to hold them because you won't be able to see them I hope you can at least see them here these are so pretty and these have me so tempted to get like a second a second piercing just so that I can wear these sort of a large hoop and a small hoop I think it would look so pretty but I've only got one piercing on each ear so I'm kind of limited in that sense and so those were my favorite hoop earrings moving on to some other gold earrings but more of statement earrings so usually the ones that I will keep for potentially if I'm going out or a fancy dinner or something like that or if I just want to look like a little more put together sometimes I like wearing like big earrings in my videos as well just so that I feel like I look a little bit different so starting off with a pair from H&M these I adore I think I got these like spring summertime but I've been wearing them loads recently I think they're a really great addition for autumn winter it's nice to have a bit more of a statement earring because you can't you are somewhat limited with playing around with other types of jewelry so I like playing around with earrings these just have like a hammered gold circular pendant thing and then you've got a pearl a pearl which drops down they're very pretty they are they're just a very pretty earring I really do like them and these I've had for ages but honestly I just wear them time and time again these will either be H&M New Look or Primark I can't remember off the top of my head but so many place, places are doing really really similar ones these ones are quite large and you can definitely find smaller ones now but because I have these I haven't really invested in any smaller ones but I love these again they've got that hammered gold detailing and then a little triangle design just a cool a cool earring another pair that I was really wearing loads and loving throughout the summer are these from I believe these are Primark as well actually and we've got a little shell hanging down shells were very popular throughout spring summer and then again a little hammered detailing on the top the sort of hammered gold detailing I mean I think you can tell they're all quite similar but it's just what I like and finally on the earring front I have these these are also from Primark I got them very recently I think I got them last week when I popped in so these are a very recent addition they have like a cool design detail not really sure what I would call it but it's kind of a cool little print I would say these are quite reminiscent to hoop earrings in that we've got the hoop coming down but then we've got like a little pendant drop holding them these are so hard to describe and so from there I'll move on to watches I only have a couple to talk through I do have a few more in my collection but honestly I've only worn these two for like a solid six months maybe like I haven't really gravitated towards any others so this is the watch I wear every single day it's from Guess and it's just a standard gold watch I mean there really isn't much to say it's just a standard bracelet in a gold design it's really classic it doesn't have too much going on but I really like that about it and then another one that I've been wearing a lot usually I save this one for more special occasions though this is a Kate Spade one and I mean they are so similar again it's a gold one it's got a gold face too and then we just got the little spade in a pretty pink color which is very it's very Kate Spade very on brand moving on to bracelets now bracelets is a category that I really don't have a lot of I just don't wear bracelets that often sort of when I come to getting ready and sort of accessorizing for the day bracelets aren't something I really typically reach for I did wear quite a few in the summer though so those are the ones I'm going to show you but day to day currently I mostly I mean I always wear this bracelet so it's a friendship bracelet from Monica Vinader I mean I think in my last jewelry collection video I shared 
this bracelet with you and here it is again my boyfriend usually like gifts me one of these either for my birthday or for like christmas or something like that and so this one i believe is from last year inside it's engraved and also on this little like pull detail as well it's engraved monica vinader is really great in that sense you can get engravings done for free on your jewelry pieces which is amazing it just adds a bit more of a personal touch whether you are gifting these or like treating yourself i think it's really lovely so this is their rose gold bracelet they do rose gold really well it's got this rope design detail it's their typical friendship bracelets basically so i wear that one all the time like i said and other than that I have a few others to share with you so firstly is one from a brand called Merci Maman um, in my best French accent so this is engraved with my name as well it just says Patricia on it and it's it's quite basic in terms of bracelets but I think that's what I really like about it because it's very easy to wear very easy to style so I wore this one a lot throughout the summer and then kind of similar to that but a bit fancier is this rose gold one rose gold bangle from it's a brand called Mianse, i believe or like Mianse, something like that it's a little more expensive i think you'll find with my jewelry collection that for earrings i'm very happy to go affordable because they work really well they suit me but when it comes to the rest of the pieces i kind of do go for items that are a bit more expensive so that they do last that little bit longer whereas when it comes to earrings i'm always changing my mind but other pieces like necklaces bracelets and things like that are pieces that really stay with me for a long time so they typically are a little bit more expensive like i said this is just a bangle it's got this kind of bar that you just screw out and screw on whenever you want to put this on it's very beautiful this is their rose gold version and i love this you can see again with this rose gold it's more of a bronzy color as opposed to being too pink toned which is the kind of rose gold i really like so moving on to my necklaces now basically i'm just taking everything out of my stand and towards the end of this video it's going to be empty i did contemplate putting everything back as i talk through it but after this, I need to film my cutaways, so I feel like it's all going to be messy anyway. So I'll just go through the pieces, like, one by one. Starting off with what is probably the most affordable necklace I own. This was from eBay, £1.99. Very inexpensive. This is the second one I've got, though. So I did have one initially, but it started to, like, tarnish quite badly. This one's doing okay. The necklace doesn't look so great, but you can always replace that with one you already own the reason i picked up this was because it was super popular to have these like really chunky initial necklaces so ebay pretty good dupes loved this wore it so much not really wearing it as much now but i just think it's not as popular anymore so when it comes with pieces that are quite like fashion and statement i would go affordable as opposed to like splurging because you don't know how long the trend will last moving on to an oldie but goodie and one that definitely needs a clean like a few of my pieces do need a good clean i haven't worn this one in a while though so this is from Chupi and it's my constant no it's my star sign constellation i don't know why i always found that so tricky to say but it has the Sagittarius constellation on the pendant. It's very beautiful. It's personalized, but in a very like different and unusual way, which is something I really, really like. Chupi as a brand is beautiful. I have so many pieces from them. They just do, they just do so many stunning pieces. And so this one is a necklace from Muru or Muru jewelry. Not really sure how it's pronounced, but I've discovered this brand this year a brand i've really really grown to love they do some really beautiful pieces this one for example is it's either like for health or like prosperity something like that you can choose different necklaces and like different pendants and they sort of mean different things so you can get something with meaning whether it be for yourself or to gift someone else i think it's really beautiful i love this i just think it looks nice as well and then this one is one that i think you've seen me wearing loads since receiving this i have worn it so 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 much it's 
a bit more of like a statement, which I think is why I really, really gravitate towards this one, particularly on top of like knitwear and jumpers and things, because I think it looks quite nice. It's a yellow gold. The chain is quite chunky and it's got a design in itself, which I also think is really like a really nice touch. That's from Daisy Jewelry. Next, another one from Chupi. This one is uh, one that you can get personalized and so I have this personalized with my initial my boyfriend's initial and a my birthstone so the December birthstone you can really customize these however you would like to which I think is really lovely and then probably one of the more inexpensive ones again from my collection this one is a P initial like in this little pendant I have so many things with like either my name or my initial on them but this one's from and other stories so this is another piece from Merci Maman and it is a I don't know what you'd call this but it turns which I think is really lovely it's just a nice sort of touch. I have this one personalized with sparkle and shine on it. For Merci Maman you can also get things personalized for free so when you purchase you can opt in for personalization if you want. On to a duo. Now this was actually from Topshop. I think I got this like last winter. Not sure if it will still be available now and I'm not really wearing it that much now but it's still a really really pretty piece. So it was just two necklaces that I would layer. So first up this one which just has a like hollow pendant there and then the bar necklace as well. So these would layer really beautifully. This circular pendant one is shorter than the, I want to call it a T-bar. So the two of them layer really, really beautifully. And then this, I have to say, is one of my favorites, purely down to its versatility. So I actually worked on the like launch campaign for this with Monica Vinader. They call this their like charm collection because you can add charms onto it, but this is it just plain with nothing on it. And I still think it's so beautiful. It basically works around these links you can make it shorter you could wear really work with so many different variations of this which is great you can wear it as a choker you can wear it sort of full length you can wear it with some uh, pendant like some chains dangling down so it just looks really different and you can also go ahead and buy charms to accessorize it too one thing I really loved about this is the ability to change the sizing of it. Over the summer, I actually wore this as a bracelet rather than a necklace. So I got rid of maybe like three quarters of them and put them together, wore them as a bracelet, which I absolutely adored. Now this time of year, I'm going for more chunky jewelry and things that are a little bit larger. I've been wearing this as a longer necklace, a choker necklace, like the possibilities really are endless. And so this is another piece that was featured in my last video. It was from Dubai. My auntie and uncle gifted me this as sort of a graduation gift and it says my name in Arabic. So I can't really link to this because it was kind of like a bespoke piece, I guess, but it's just, it's really, really beautiful. I don't wear it as much as I used to, but still very beautiful. And I know a piece that I will treasure forever. And now we're getting there, we are nearing the end so this I actually haven't worn this one yet it's still been in its box but I took it out of the box so that I can mention it in this video this is also from the Merci Maman brand again it's personalized I love this because the chain has some little ball detailing which I love again I have this personalized it's got a circle pendant just classic circle pendant I have this engraved with a date and then this comes with two alphabet pendants and again I have a P and an A so this is something that can be so easily personalized great for anyone really personalize it to suit them this is another fairly new piece in my collection but one I really really wanted to mention it's from the Estella Bartlett brand which I've been loving and it's just I don't even know what I would call this but it's just a little bit unusual compared to some of my other jewelry so I thought it would be quite nice it's quite dainty Estella Bartlett does some really nice dainty jewelry I wore an evil eye necklace which I'm going to show you next loads over the summer really loved this and I just think that this is a really pretty collection for autumn winter so this is the little evil eye one is it called an evil eye I'm really not sure but the whole eye thing which I loved like I said I wore this a lot over the summer it's very dainty it's very thin the necklace is super super dainty so it works really beautifully in my opinion like against skin as opposed to like over 
jumpers or knitwear or anything like that I think it would get a little bit lost but like on your skin I think it falls really nicely and finally I have a couple of choker style necklaces to go through so this one is from Euro Jewelry this was from a collaboration they did with the girls at Bell and Bunty they are bloggers and they did this really beautiful collection with Muru which is actually how I discovered the brand such a nice little choker it's got almost those teardrop detailings which is very very pretty and it just works lovely as a layering piece also from mural jewelry i have this choker as well which you may have seen me wear a few times it's got a little pendant falling down and again we've got the necklace with the little beading so like i said rather than being very plain we've got the beading which i think adds a nice touch and finally this is a piece from clouse now you may know clouse as a watch brand that's definitely how i came to know about the brand but they also do do some jewelry and this was a dainty 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 jewelry piece it's just got a little hexagon on it very pretty the jewelry is again really quite thin and again it's one of those that i would say would look nice against skin and so there we go that was all the gold jewelry i wanted to share with you like i said just my favorite pieces the pieces i really gravitate towards some newbies that i put in there as well that I really just wanted to share with you and these are probably all pieces that you've seen me style before that you will see me style in the future so I hope you enjoyed seeing it all. I will have links and prices and all of that in the description box down below so just click show more if you want any links to pieces, pricing information, maybe more photos as well. Check out the description box for all of that. If you're not subscribed then please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thumbs up for more videos from me and I will see you all very soon with a new video. A really really big thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.